any of us who um, just have plastic, <laughs> regular plastic. One more of those. I don't know if anyone was, these are the snap clamps that are the diameter to fit over the, uh, the, they're all different sizes depending on the hoop. So you could attach them onto the low hoops, the half inch diameter. Most people just let me flow now. Yeah, sorry, I'm not, I'm talking and not helping. All right. <laughs> I've taken the factory edge of the plastic, okay? And I've kind of just laid it over the edge of this, this scissor door and put it in place with snap clamps, all right? The next thing that, that we would do to make sure those don't move is we're going to add tech screws. And this is a, a place where you actually do want to use a Phillips, okay? Because you don't want it to mess up the, the plastic on the other door. All right, so I'm going to go through this, the snap cap itself and into the steel. Okay, and that's not moving, all right? So I do that part of it first. Is there a pre-drilled hole in the steel? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. So then I I've got that clamped in place down there, okay? So the cool thing about, about wiggle wire and, and uh, poly lock channel, some people like to call it or whatever, it takes up a finite amount of plastic, and when it does that, it tightens it up, okay? So I, I hold this fairly tight, not super tight, because then you'll puncture the, the plastic, okay? I try to keep the wrinkles out of it as I go down. So here, I have another piece if you want. The yep. wiggle wire yep. uh, channel gets bent just by screwing it to the aluminum? Yep, so that's one piece we didn't show you. The channel is aluminum, so we can just basically kind of bend it and tech screw it in. And you can use some vice grips to hold it in place if you're doing it by yourself. You know, Johnny sells this in um, eight foot lengths, four foot lengths. What do you sell it in? What? The wiggle wire channel. The channel comes in eight foot length. Eight foot. And uh, the wire is in four. So the nice thing is you can buy a smaller quantity of it and use it just for this end. So when you're going to put the next piece, yep. the side piece, and you're just going to put it on yep. top of that one exactly. the same channel, right? yep. with another wiggle wire. Uh, yep. You're not, you're not trying to capture two pieces with one wiggle wire. But you can use it. I mean, you could, but yeah, it's better to have them independent. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That brings up a good point. You actually want to do it when it's, ideally, when it's warmer. Yep. Because then everything tightens up when it's cool. So now if we were putting a um, roll-up side on here, there are instructions in the manual if you wanted to do that. If you're doing anything that's short like this, typically you don't need it. There's enough ventilation by opening the end walls that you don't need to have a separate um, roll-up side. If you did, you would be basically taking another piece of the wiggle wire channel, stretching it across, and that would be your attachment point for the plastic coming down. Then you could leave a little excess that would come all the way down and you could either attach it along the base, sandbag it in place, whatever you wanted. So you use the clamps like you did there for the bottom one? Um you could. I mean whatever whatever. You roll it up? Yeah, I mean it, it it it's usually better just to have it free um, flowing. So if you're gonna be rolling and opening and closing, it's a able to um, be accessible there you could attach uh, EMT lengths along the very edge of it to have a point to roll up to and to weight it down it's in the instructions as yep. well yep so this channel actually makes a nice convenient point to uh, to guide your knife when you're trimming this off Elliot likes to or he likes to say that anything lar longer than 50 feet um, doesn't ventilate well without some sort of roll up side None of the tunnels that we have at Four Seasons Farm um, do we have roll-up sides on because they're all 50 feet long. It, once you get past 50 feet, 100 footer, you get dead air space in this 50 foot area. So that's where it's really necessary. If this, because this one's only 14 feet wide, you build up the heat a little bit more. So that's why we recommend having the um, roll-up side. 
Yeah, so when we get to Vera and Gordon's farm, you'll see what they've done to apply these to this climate. I'm pretty sure they have roll-up sides, but theirs are 48 feet long. They open the end walls entirely, so when they're using them. But those are definitely specific questions for them. Definitely ventilation, winter, spring, summer, fall, it's all necessary at some point. And it's better to have your plant slightly cool than slightly hot. <laughs> So, I mean, in terms of orientation, um, with commercially manufactured tunnels, the rule of thumb is above the 42nd parallel, I believe. It's supposed to be um, east-west, and then below it, north-south, but it really doesn't matter as much when you get below um, a certain latitude. Usually, the determining factor would be your site um, and or prevailing winds, like you mentioned. So, in Colorado, I was at the 38th parallel and I oriented mine, um, uh, let's see, north-south because the prevailing winds came from the east, so, or the, or, or the west. So anyway, so I did it differently based on the wind. And I didn't want um, the winds to be coming through the end walls and creating a wind tunnel. I wanted it to be coming against the side of my tunnel. Does that make sense? Yep, so I, yeah. And I got like 75 mile gusts out there, so it could really get strong. We were on a plateau. <laughs> These were all movable. I anchored them just with T-posts and webbing strap. And I guess I got really lucky. <laughs> They're um, like greenhouse, mega greenhouse. So those greenhouse supply places online, they sell these rolls of tape, greenhouse tape that you can secure it on. So 